In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to edit your Facebook page template. If you are logged into your page, look to the top upper right hand corner, select Settings. Look to the left, click on Edit Page. You should see a section labeled Templates, click Edit. I currently have the standard template loaded. You can view the details if you desire, or you could look through the other different templates. They have business, venues, nonprofit, politicians, services, restaurants and cafes, shopping, and video creator. Since I do a lot of videos, we're going to select this one. Click on View Details. This will show you the basic template. It will show you where your buttons are located on the page. The primary button for this specific template is Watch Video. The buttons on the toolbar is Unlike, Photo, and Share. It will also show you the default tabs. You have Home, Live Videos, Videos, Photos, Groups, Post, About, and Community. Once you apply the template, it will replace your existing buttons and tabs. Go ahead and select Apply. Go ahead and click on OK. Go to your page. If your old button is still there, select Refresh. My watch video button is now displayed. I need to finish setting it up. Go ahead and select the button. You have a couple different options here. You can go ahead and send them to a specific URL address to watch a video on a website. If you have that, go ahead and enter your URL right here and click Add Button. If you want to see the other options, select Other Options. If you have a specific video on your Facebook page, you can choose one of the current videos that is on your page, or you can upload a new video. Once you have made your selection, click Add Button. You can also view the other options again. You can choose another button if you so desire, but if you are using this specific template, you will most likely want to keep the watch button. I'm going to select the watch a video on my page button. I'll just choose a random video just for this tutorial. I'll click add button. And the video has now been updated with that specific button. If you look to the left, you will see your tabs. If you would like to edit these tabs, you need to go back into Settings, select Edit Page again. It will show you that you currently have the Video Creator template. Scroll down, and this is where your tabs are located. If you want to use the default tabs, leave this on. You can also edit these settings. So if you click into any of these, it will show you that you can turn this tab on or you can also select it to be off. If you leave it on, it will send people directly to this URL address. You can even copy and paste this. So you can go through the different settings and remove them or leave them as they are. You can also drag these into a different order if you would like to do so. Once you are done, your page should be displayed in the manner that you set it. You now have the new template installed. Let's say you want to go back to your old template. Go ahead and click on Settings. Choose Edit Page. Go back into your templates. Click Edit. And you can set it back to whatever one you desire to use. So let's say I wanted to go back to my standard template. I would just simply click on View Details, Apply Template, click on OK. If I go back to my page, you will see the Watch button is still showing. If you refresh it, it will still be displayed because you've already enabled it. Go ahead and click on the button itself. Click on Other Options. Click on Choose Another button. I'll select Get in Touch. I like to use the Send Message button. I'm going to turn on Instant Replies. 
I'm going to simply copy and paste another message that I've used in the past. I'm going to remove this and add the personalization. I like to use their first name. Once you are done, click Save Changes. My Facebook page is now back to my previous template. Now you know how to edit your Facebook page template.